In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about hyperlinks in PowerPoint and I'm going to show you some useful uh, tips and tricks of hyperlink and why it is important in your presentations. So before we start, let me just uh, tell you the definition of the hyperlink is. So the hyperlink is nothing but as per the wikipedia.org in computing a hyperlink or simply a link is a reference to data that user can follow by clicking or tapping. A hyperlink points to a whole document or to a specific element within a document. So this is what the hyperlink is. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and the simplest way how you can access or how you can create the hyperlinks in PowerPoint. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. And I've used Office 2019 version to do this, but hyperlinks are available in any version of the PowerPoint from 2007 or 2003 also. So let's start the tutorial. Imagine a situation where you'd like to show only a few slides from your presentation. For example, I've got total nine slides. So I would like to present slide number two, three, four, and slide number this one. That means here five, six, seven, and nine. So usually what we do is generally, uh, in my case, what I do is I just select this one, this, this, this. So I've got selected four slides. I'll copy control C. I'm going to press control N to create a new slide or new presentation and then I'm pasting it here. So generally this is what uh, I do and mostly everybody does the same thing. So instead of doing all those things, what we can do is we can use the hyperlink and some other useful features in PowerPoint and avoid creating some duplicate presentations. So let me just close this one. I'm not going to save this. Now I'm just back to this slide, okay, this presentation. So now what I'm going to do is, for example, I'm going to create my own uh, slideshow, okay. First of all, go to insert and I'm going to insert a shape, any shape of your choice. I'm just going to show, say that show my presentation or my custom presentation. So this is my kind of a button, you can say it. You can increase the size, decrease the size. So depending on your requirement. So now what I need to do is, I need, as I said, I need to show only the slide number five, six, seven, and slide number nine. So I'm going to select this one, go to insert. Can you see there's something called a link here and there's something called action also. Let me just show you about the link when i click on the link you can see here i can go and choose the slide for example i want to show the slide number five and i would like to show now slide number six also but i cannot show multiple slides here i can select only one slide but this is not my requirement so what is my requirement my requirement is to show the slide number five six seven and slide number nine so how to do that so i'm going to show you using the custom shows can you see there's something called custom shows but nothing is there you know i cannot scroll it down so first of all let me just create a custom show cancel this one you can go to the slideshow you can see there's something called custom slideshow just click on this and click the custom shows and here I'm going to create a new custom show. First of all, I have to click the new button and I'm going to give the name as my uh, sales presentation, for example. All right. And here I'm going to choose the slide. So I want the slide number, say two, this is five, six, seven, and nine. I'm going to just tick this one and click on the add button right you can see here two three four and five and if you like to uh, uh, align it properly not align it if you want to just make it up and down so for example i want this slide number three to go i'm going to sort this so you can see here depending on your requirement you can 
sort the slides all right so i have given the name as slideshow name my sales presentation and click ok and close this one so let me just go here again select this i'm going to insert and i'm going to click the link now you can see here i've got my sales presentation all right so if i just click any of these things you can see here show and return is disabled but when i click this one show and return is enabled so let me just show you uh, later uh, what exactly this means okay so i'm just going to click okay all right and i'm going to do a slideshow the moment i'm bringing my cursor you can see here it is changing to the hand icon and when i click you can see here show slide number three then slide number two and then slide number four and then slide number five all right end the show it has end the show here so now instead of ending here i would like to end where i have started you know this is the place so let me just go here if you want right mouse click also you can go to edit link also you can do something like this and then i'm just saying show and return i'm just going to click on this one and click ok now let me just show you when i bring my cursor here it shows me slide number three slide number two slide number four slide number five and it comes back to my presentation here so you can create multiple presentation for example say this is my sales presentation for example this is my sales presentation i'm going to create one more where i'm going to talk about for example say some different color i will give uh, given the same color i'm going to give say my marketing presentation example all right so now again for this say i want say slide number eight and slide number three something like that only two slides i've got for the marketing so again let me just go to the slideshow custom slideshow and i'm going to click on custom shows i'm going to click a new and i'm going to type about marketing presentation all right and then i need slide number say two for this and slide number eight for this and click on add and if you want to sort you can sort it and click ok and close it now i'm going to select the marketing presentation go to insert link and you can see here one more added in the custom shows marketing presentation and again i want to show and return click ok and let me just play now for example marketing presentation it is showing me this slide and it is showing me this slide all right and when i click it back to the main slide again when i click sales presentation it takes me to the sales presentation and again it's back to the main menu here so you can see here with the help of this uh, simple techniques you can uh, play a multiple presentation out of the same presentation uh, by you choosing the different slides so let's see some other uh, hyperlinks uh, now uh, you can do the hyperlinks on a text on an image on a uh, shapes or any uh, thing which you like to do for example let me just add one text here for example i would like to open the uh, google website or the search engine so i'm just going to type open google page for example this is my text all right now for this i would like to add a link hyperlink so when i click here it should open the google page so there are multiple ways of doing that one for example let me just select this go to insert or you can just right mouse click also and you can just say hyperlink also whichever way you feel better all right and then you can see existing file or uh, this one and then i'm going to click the address i'm going to just say www.google.com and click ok all right and then when i just click the slideshow you can see here the web page is coming and i click you can see here it has started a new web page all right so let me just go back to the presentation so this is one way of doing that one or the simplest way is you can just type you don't need to do anything for this www.google.com and just 
press the space key here so all right and even this one also when i bring it it will directly take me here so i don't need to do any uh, thing all right so where i will need to add a hyperlink so this one by default it will work like this all right so this is simplest way or if you want to add a again some shape also you can do it and then assign that shape the hyperlink to that one now how to edit or remove the hyperlinks for example i'm going to select this one and then right mouse click you can see here edit link open link copy link remove link so let me just click on the edit link here and it gives me the address and there's something called screen tip can you see here here when i give the screen tip i'm just saying that this will open the google search engine and click ok and click ok and when i do a slideshow you can see here this is giving me a screen tip this says this will open the google search engine so you can use the search uh, the, the tool tip for any of this for even for this also i can just again edit link and screen tip i'm going to say this is or this will open marketing presentation click ok click ok and when i do a slideshow you can see here this will open marketing presentation but here nothing is showing because i have not added any uh, screen tip or tool tip there how to remove the hyperlink is very simple select this right mouse click and just click on the remove link this will remove the hyperlinks the same goes for this even right mouse click i can say remove link so that particular link has been removed again if you want to add it's very simple you can just right mouse click and add it so let's see more uh, details of the link i'm just going to add one shape let me just add one shape here and the moment i added the shape you can see here the link and the action buttons are enabled so we have already seen what the link button will do for example i can just go to a specific slide here place in this document or i can go to the custom shows or what i have created or you can open the existing web page or you can type or the address here all right you can browse pages you can use the recent files you can create a new document here you can just type the name of the document or if you're using some email address also you can create the email address and i've already explained what the screen tip is so let me just go to the other option which is the action one here so there are two ways you can do the action here one is when you go into the shapes scroll it down you can see there's something called the action buttons at the bottom now the action buttons is, plays a very important role in the presentation for example i would like to go to the the home slide for example so i'm just going to click this action button go home can you see here click on this and i'm just going to place it here this is my home all right the moment i click this one you can see here the action setting the action setting is nothing but the insert the action is there now i would like to hyperlink you can see here hyperlink to first slide and show last slide custom url you can do a different things you can open other powerpoint presentation for example i want to go to the first slide and click ok now when i I'm on this particular slide and when I click it will take me to the very first slide all right so uh, this way you can just insert the the pre-built action buttons here next all those things are here you can see here you can watch a video button here a document and uh, the sound the question marks the quiz so many things are there the help button also now let me just uh, explain you for example i've selected this one and click on the action when i click it opens the same thing what we have just now saw when i created this so home button so action on click first of all you have got two things mouse click or mouse over so what's the different mouse click means when i click that action will happen and when i mouse over means when i bring the my mouse onto that object that will have an action on that so let me just show you the hyperlink i'll just say hyperlink to see you can see here custom shows also i can select the the custom shows which i have created all right 
and then I can just open the other PowerPoint presentation also. I have to just go and select some presentations and then I can do that one. All right. So other file also, if you want to open, I would like to open some other files, you can just open some other files also. You need to just click on that one and click open. So it will create the link. And when you click the button, it that will open. So that's the hyperlink. And if you're using some uh, programs which you want to open that one, that also can be possible uh, with the help of this action one. And if you have created any macro and you like to play the macro on click of this button, that also can be uh, done. So the same thing applies on the mouse over also. All right. So for example, mouse over, I want to end the show, for example, and click OK. Let me just show you how it works. When I bring it, can you see immediately it's end? See here, the moment it comes here, end the show. That's it. All right. So that's the difference between uh, the action and the link. All right. So the mouse click and the mouse over. All right. So and you like to add a hyperlink on the image. Again, I can select the image. I can go to the link and I would like to open for example slide number say a uh, three here and click OK. So even though when I just click on this one that will open there here. OK. So and if you like to go back to the slide which we have just opened so I can just go to the shapes and I can just you can see here there are so many things are there can you see return for example I'm just going to click the return and return is nothing but the last viewed slide click ok so let me just go to this one and when i click it is it takes me here and when i would like to go back to the slide which we have just opened again i'm going to click the return button it takes me there all right so this is a simplest way you can use the hyperlinks and it is very very important uh, for your presentations